We have failed to make adequate investments in our transportation infrastructure. We have failed to provide the operating expenses needed to keep up our road, rail, and transit systems up to date and to keep up with rising demand. By deferring maintenance and current resources and investing in necessary improvements, we have kicked the can down the road and hoped that somehow the situation will magically improve. Let me be clear why we are here today and why this call to action is so important. The current transportation system we have today we cannot afford. And the kind of improved system we all want, I can assure you, we cannot afford. We must identify sustainable funding for investments in the Commonwealth's transportation infrastructure. For too long, we have tried to apply a band-aid. It can't do reconstructive surgery with a first aid kit. There has to be a comprehensive approach. We need more money. We need to spend that money wisely. We need to invest it equitably in this region and throughout the state. We've allowed ourselves to become divided by region, divided by mode. In a battle over dwindling resources, suburbs have been pitted against cities. Rural communities have been pitted against urban areas. Drivers have been pitted against rail and transit users. That has got to stop and stop now. Cities and towns actually control and maintain 90% of the roads in Massachusetts, 90%, uh, and almost all of the bridges. And so we are, uh, at the local level, major partners in making sure that we have a, a functioning transportation system that works for not only today, but in, in the future. Everybody understands locally what a transportation investment means for their community. They know what roads need to be invested in. They know that the buses don't come on nights and weekends. They know that the transportation they need for their families is not available to them. And they want that investment. They want that investment today. The reality is that we, we really need to look at this as a commonwealth and recognize that the local transportation investments that we need around the commonwealth to build our economy, to grow our economy, to keep our, our economy vibrant, needs to be a comprehensive statewide plan. So it is about jobs, it is about the economy, but most importantly it's about quality of life. The folks who take this train today, who are in this station, they care about what's happening with public transit. The reason we need to invest is for the next generation. My kids, your kids, your grandkids, to make sure that as we are able to invest in a sustainable, comprehensive improvements to our transportation, their quality of life is better. So I say, do we want to continue to do things halfway? If you're trying to go to Florida, do you want to get dropped off in DC? I don't think so. If you're trying to go to the Berkshires, do you want to get dropped off in Fitchburg? I'll say yes, but you might say no. I'll welcome you in Pittsburgh. So I say, let's fully fund a transportation plan. Not just projects, let's fully fund transportation for the entire state. Today, we focused on bringing forward the municipal leaders. To say to our legislators, to the governor, who's already with us on so many things, to Senator McGee, who's representing with his colleagues, his colleagues, both the Senate and the House today, we are saying to them, the municipal leaders of Massachusetts are united for a long-term transportation finance solution.